Hello and welcome to Short Officer's classes. Today we'll do something called the Fermat's Little Theorem. This is an advanced video, so if you do not understand something somewhere, just pause it anywhere. So let's start by the statement. The theorem states that if A is an integer, an integer, P is a prime number, a prime number, and A is not divisible, A is not divisible by P, A not divisible by P, A is an integer, P is a prime number, A is not divisible by P, then a to the power p minus 1 is congruent modulo 1 mod p. Pretty simple. So let's get to the proof which is not so simple. So if you want to you can pause anywhere or rewind the video. The most straightforward way to prove this theorem is to apply induction. We fixed p as a prime number. The base case is 1 to the power p is congruent modulo 1 mod p. Please note that this p is prime and hence we do not do induction on prime. We do not do induction on prime. It simply won't hold. Uh, 1 to the power p is congruent to 1 mod p. So similarly, suppose the statement, suppose A to the power P is congruent to A mod P is the statement, is true, is true. Then by binomial theorem, then by binomial theorem, binomial theorem, we have a plus 1 to the power p is equal to, I suppose all of you have your binomial stuff clear because this is going to get a little tricky, a to the power p plus P choose 1, this is also called PC1 or A to the power P minus 1 plus P choose 2, A to the power P minus 2 plus continuing we have P choose P minus 1, A and 1. Note that this p divides into any binomial coefficient, this p, these p divides into any binomial coefficient of the form, these divide, this p divides into any binomial coefficient, any coefficient of the form, p choose k for 1 less than equal to k less than equal to p minus 1. This follows the definition of binomial coefficient. This follows that this is all obviously equals to p choose k is p factorial by k factorial into p minus k factorial. Since p is a prime, since p is prime, P divides the numerator. This is obviously divided by P. P divides P factorial. But this is not divided by P. This does not, P does not divide this denominator. Denominator. Now when taken mod P, let's just go to the next page. When we take taken mod p 
all the middle terms all the middle terms middle terms of the expansion of that expansion we did expansion they all disappeared they disappear and we end up with a plus 1 to the power p is congruent modulo a p a to the power p plus 1 mod p now since we know since we know a to the power p is congruent to a mod p then then a plus 1 to the power p is congruent to a plus 1 a plus 1 mod p as desired this is our general result and which we have arrived by induction that's it that's all for now thanks for watching